Stubby was a stray dog who became the most decorated war dog of World War I. He served with the 102nd Infantry Regiment and was involved in 17 battles. Known for his ability to detect mustard gas, locate wounded soldiers, and even capture a German spy, Stubby became a national hero in the United States. He was promoted to the rank of sergeant for his efforts, the first dog to receive such a rank in the US Army. A German Army dog is photographed wearing a hat and glasses with a pair of binoculars around his neck. The Germans began using dogs in an official capacity during wartime in the late 19th century, not long before the start of World War I. The Allied forces had at least 20,000 dogs on the battlefields of World War I, while the Central Powers, primarily Germany, had about 30,000. In 1922, a bulldog named Jiggs was inducted into the U.S. Marine Corps by General Smedley Butler. He later was promoted to Sergeant Major Jiggs. During World War I, dogs were primarily used as messengers. Message dogs were often outfitted with collars that had attached cylinders. A sergeant of the Royal Engineers places a message into the cylinder on August 28, 1918. These dogs often had to deal with dangerous obstacles. Here, an Alsatian messenger dog jumps over a barbed wire fence at the Western Front in Flanders, Belgium. While horses were often used to haul heavy guns and other equipment, teams of dogs were also used to carry weapons and other items. Italian soldiers oversaw dogs doing this work in 1917. Dogs with their keen sense of hearing, endured frequent exposure to gunfire and other loud sounds during World War I. This dog belonged to Captain Richardson of the UK, who brought his canine companion with him to the trenches in 1914. World War I dogs, especially terriers, proved to be productive rat hunters. Here, a terrier poses with some of his kill near the front lines of France in May 1916. World War I was one of the deadliest conflicts in human history, with military and civilian casualties casualties estimated at over 16 million. Doreen was a mascot of the 1st Battalion of the Irish Guards. Aiello explains that dogs were trained to find the wounded or dying soldiers on the battlefield. This would let the medics know who was still alive so the injured could get immediate medical treatment. This dog finds a wounded soldier lying under a tree in Austria, July 1916, Aiello says. I think that Red Cross dogs were the heroes of World War I. The dogs would not only locate wounded soldiers, as shown in this 1917 image, they would also help to transport them from the battlefield. Many dogs were injured by toxic gas. Still others died from exposure to chemical agents like chlorine and phosgene. During the spring of 1917, a French messenger dog wearing a gas mask runs through a cloud of poisonous gas. Here, a German army dog jumped over a trench in France to deliver a message from one outpost to another. Many dogs served in the war and thousands died while doing this dangerous job. After delivering a message, the dog would be released to quietly find a second handler. These dogs faced incredible dangers alongside the soldiers, showing unwavering loyalty and bravery. Their contributions saved lives and provided comfort in the harshest conditions. As we remember the other countless sacrifices of World War I, we must not forget these unsung heroes.